Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Appetitos. This is everything Franks in a Blanket, a product of Canada. Uh, these are the Pepper Jack filled pretzel bites. We bought both of these at Aldi. The uh, pretzels uh, were $2.45 and the Franks were $3.99. So, these cook at different temperatures and we're going to use different baking methods actually for the everything franks in a blanket you want to you can make these in a conventional oven or air fryer we're going to use the conventional oven preheat your oven to 375 place pieces flat side down one inch apart on a baking sheet bake on metal rack for 17 to 19 minutes we'll go for 18 minutes until it is uh, the pastry is light and golden brown so i'll just go ahead and show you these first this is my um cookie sheet i have a piece of parchment paper on here they are in a bag and so i'm gonna go ahead there's only there are only three servings in the container three servings of four pieces yeah so i mean you don't get a lot it doesn't say to flip them over halfway through the baking time or anything like that so that's how i'm gonna bake those then the pepper jack filled pretzel bites so these are the the everything frank said like it was at 375 the uh pepper jack filled pretzel bites you can make make these in a conventional oven or toaster oven or you can make them in the microwave we actually are going to use a toaster oven so you heat preheat your to toaster oven to or your regular oven to 350 arrange pretzel bites on a baking sheet bake for seven to ten minutes or until warm we'll probably do these per maybe about nine maybe about nine minutes so we um we have our toaster oven here preheated and we put some foil um, on our pan and that's just so that uh, we always put foil on that pan so that nothing will stick but let's see how many servings are in here this one has five servings three bites so just lay them out here i wonder if it says it says uh, arrange pretzel bites on baking sheet so no it's they're not particular it doesn't say uh, rounded side up or flat side down or anything like that, but that's what we're doing because we're anal about you it. You see some of them have like pretzels stuck in them? Yeah, they're like the pretzels stuck all the way <laughs> through and through. So we're going to uh, bake these for nine minutes and uh, we'll be back when both of these are finished baking. So here's the little Franks. And like I said, it did, it did not say anywhere in the directions to turn them over halfway, uh, so we didn't, uh, but this is how they look. And then um, I'll just show you these in the toaster oven. Uh, these are the, the pretzel bites with the pepper jack cheese. And there, over here. <laughs> there's no cheese, um, like normally you, you see some cheese oozing out and you'll lose a lot of cheese. I don't actually see any pepper jack cheese at all coming out of these, which is good. Uh, so Kevin and I are gonna take them over to the table and give them a try. Okay, we're gonna try the pepper jack filled pretzel bites first. And mm. they show, ooh, there is cheese in there. Well, you know what? I'm, it out. I'm impressed. Yeah, it did when Kevin stuck his fork in there. I'm impressed that none of that, we didn't lose any cheese whatsoever in the toaster. In taco. Yeah, because normally you would have. But that just tells you don't pop the whole thing in That's your mouth. That's what I was thinking. If you pop that in your mouth, it's going to go pop. It's going to be like a lava. Hot cheese. Um, these are three bites is 160 calories. And this is the Appetitos is an Aldi brand. So, what? The cheese is not that hot. Okay. I think you're okay. Oh, um, to get a whole one? Yeah. I didn't get one with a little pretzel in the middle in the end. I mean, it might still be hot. I don't know. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like a little shrimp or something. It reminds me it of a bee's. It might be really hot. It might reminds me of a bee's nest. A bee's thing, a beehive on a stick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. I really, I get a little bit of the peppery flavor. I'm, I'm not overly impressed. They're very doughy. They're, you taste the pretzel, 
I know it's crisp on the outside and chewy on the outside like a traditional soft pretzel is. Yes, I wish they had been crisper on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, they do have a nice uh, the pretzel flavor. You mm -hmm. do get that. You do get the salt. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a little bit of the pepper jack. I do get some of the pepper jack yeah. cheese. Yes, I do get some of that. And there is, uh, you get that, um, that spiciness to mm -hmm. that pepper jack cheese. It's just that there's not a ton of it, and now I know why. That's why we didn't lose any. Is because I think there's so little in there. Yeah. That... I don't like them. I think for for what you get for them, if you put those on a plate for an appetizer for a party or. A, you know. I think there's other brands that I would rather have that are the pre, pre, other pretzel bites that I would rather have. Um, yes, this. I agree. There's probably other brands, but if you're at Aldi and you shop at Aldi a lot, if I think that's these your are, store, yeah, yeah, then I think these are. Bad. Okay, so now, everything Franks in a Blanket, Product of Canada, minimum 12 Franks, I didn't count them. Uh, pork mini Franks wrapped in pastry and topped with everything bagel seasoning. Okay. Four pieces are 290 calories, or you can eat the entire box for 860 calories. Or, or can you just pick this I'll up? I'll pop the whole thing in my mouth, but you might want to take a bite of the sauce, the hot dog, the Frank, or whatever you want to call it first. I think it has a good flavor to it. I do too. It's almost like a, a sausage or a flavored hot dog. Mmm. They're flaky. Mm hmm. They got a little crispness to them, so they're crisp on the outside. You can absolutely taste that everything. It has a garlic mm -hmm. flavor. a little poppy seed now you get uh, mainly oh, what I get out of it is the garlic mm -hmm. but I love the flaky pastry I think that's delicious the texture is wonderful and it's, the sausage the frank itself, um, it's very good yes the frank itself has a terrific flavor mm -hmm. like, very well seasoned yeah like you those would be d delicious dipped in mustard just yellow mustard and I think the franks themselves would be good in just a full size like hot dog with a well, on a bun with a little bit of mustard on it because mm -hmm. they're seasoned so 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 well. Yes. And I think the I said poppy seeds. I think they're sesame seeds. Now that I'm looking at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're sesame seeds. Because I'm thinking of everything bagel. A lot of those have poppy seeds on mm -hmm. them. This this has black sesame seeds. Yeah, they're little black sesame seeds. But that those are okay. terrific. Now I would get those all the time. Mm -hmm. And these are different than just your traditional. Frank's in a blanket because they do have that seasoning and that seasoning does make a huge difference. If, and the hot dog has a good seasoning. So. And yes, absolutely. This whole thing, I like everything about this. Mm -hmm. I would They're totally very, very good. this again. Um, I know like um, Pillsbury has that recipe where you can make the pigs in a blanket with the mm -hmm. little, little hot little sausages. Mm -hmm. um, you could probably do that if you bought everything bagel seasoning mm -hmm. and sprinkled on the outside. You can make them yourself if you want to. But if you've got an Aldi around you, you can buy them. Just eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if you do make them at home yourself, all you would have to do would be to put like a little bit of water on the outside mm -hmm. and roll it through that seasoning, mm -hmm. and there you go. Really good. Uh, but it, it, yeah, it works great on there. Mm -hmm. uh, the flavors go really well together. So, out of the two, I, I wasn't that impressed one. with these just because I wish the pretzel had been uh, crunchier on the outside. It's nothing against the flavor, it's just that I do, I wish there was a little bit more cheese. And I wish it was crispier. But now, I would get these all the time. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of yeah. those at all. <laughs> so, I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.